Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrade.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Uh, where do we begin? Uh, we'll get to that in a second. I uh, hope everybody is uh, doing well. Uh, if you could be so kind, if you're enjoying this broadcast uh, and you watch along, uh, all I ask, if you could be so kind, take a moment out, uh, click a like, uh, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. It'll help out the channel and hopefully I will continue to provide uh, nightly uh, value to you. So let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about it. Um, obviously, the market has been great, okay, uh, ever since we reclaimed the 50-day moving average. Uh, yeah, of course, we had some bumps and bruises. Again, there's no, uh, there's nowhere it says that once you get above the 50-day moving average, the market has to go up every single day. We kind of know this. Uh, but all, overall, you know, how can you, how can you be mad at the tape? Uh, you know, cues have gone now from uh, this 471 level, and you know, we're, we were closed here at 486 uh, in the last couple of weeks. So amazing action. We went through countless names of stocks breaking out from the metas of the world uh, and the apples of the world and uh, you know all these stocks. Tesla, Tesla and crazy uh, again today. Um, but the most important part is we watch, right? We watch for news. We watch for uh, data. We watch for uh, anything that can give us more clues and give us more uh, confirmation that's something that we are in the process of uh, getting ready for uh, is going to play out that way. And you woke up this morning, uh, first news you saw, uh, let's see, China, this is pretty much coming right out uh, from uh, the headlines. Let's see here, China unveiled a fairly bre uh, broad uh, stimulus package that's pretty much going to prop up uh, real estate, prop up uh, stock prices, obviously, you know, the stock market went nuts. Global uh, indexes went nuts. Uh, all the Chinese stocks, the ADRs that trade uh, here and abroad, uh, they were all in nuts. Uh, Southern NASDAQ right out the gate uh, was up 100 points. Uh, Tesla, beautiful breakout yesterday. Beautiful, excuse me, but beautiful breakout uh, from that 235 level that we were discuss uh, discussing in nauseam uh, about for about two weeks. Uh, it fit it. Failed to con confirm, it failed to follow through on Friday, but yesterday, huge move. We talked about this right at the close. Nearly 5.5 million shares got cleaned up right into the close. And today, just an absolute gorgeous move. Uh, gapped up today about four and a half, five dollars $5. Went into supply in the 257 area. Uh, again, they continued to hammer, folks. Yesterday, we talked about uh, the 255, 260s, right? Today, they were coming for the 270s, this 275s, weeklies, and for next week's uh, expiration. And most important, again, they continue to pound uh, those 300s that we talked about yesterday uh, in um, for October. Okay, um, big move, right? Big, big move. A lot of things we talked about on last night's video did exactly what they did, right? They broke out. We talked about on uh, Netflix. Again, we'll get to all the pivots in a second. Uh, but we talked about Netflix last night. A buyer came in uh, pretty much right from the word go, came in for the weekly uh, 725 calls, stock closed uh, at the highs of the day. Uh, we talked about MSTR, right? We talked about MSTR last night. Uh, finally got through this whole channel here. It's propping up. I got another setup off of MSTR that we'll share with you guys uh, in a few minutes. That looks good. But the one most interesting name we talked about in the last night's video, and actually the last two nights video, was NVIDIA. You guys remember that? So let me, for all you guys who didn't watch the video last night or even the day before, NVIDIA has been very, very weak, right? Very, very weak for the last like three, four days, uh, not really participating with the market, kind of fighting to stay above uh, the 50-day moving average. And yesterday, if you guys remember, the stock was trading you know, 115, 116. And we kept on talking about it, especially in the last couple of days. It's very, very odd that the stock is sitting there 115, 116, because there are buyers coming in. Like, I just even go back to last night's video. There were buyers coming in yesterday for the 120, the 120, the 121 weeklies, the 120, the 121 weeklies, the 120, the 121 weeklies. A buyer also came in yesterday. We, I mentioned this on the video last night. 
a buyer came in for the December 126 calls, right? Again, this is 10 points out of the money from yesterday with a $4.1 million premium. And the question was, well, does somebody know something, right? Does somebody know something? Is something, you know, is something about to happen with NVIDIA? Uh, the rumor was, the rumor was, and again, it's not really a rumor. It's kind of more like market chatter. The chatter was that there was a lot of insider selling. I think, I think everybody uh, has seen that over the last several weeks. And again, my, you know, my, uh, my response to insider selling in NVIDIA, guys, the stock is up like 20 fold over the last like five, six years. Some of these guys have lockups for two to five years. Wouldn't you be selling stock, right? So it's not really a big deal. It's not really a big deal that uh, there was selling in or, or, or insider selling in NVIDIA. Again, that's what people do. They buy, they get stock cheap, and then they're locked up, for, you know, they're locked up for two to five years, and then they sell it when they can in the open market. So we started seeing those call buying over and over and over again. And then finally today, Barron's reports, okay, Barron's online reports, that apparently the CEO of uh, NVIDIA, right, uh, sold roughly 700 and whatever it was, 30, 50 million dollars worth of stock. And he has no, pl- and he's done for now. I don't know how, how exactly they would know that, right? Would they ask him, right? I don't know exactly how they know that. But NVIDIA out of nowhere, and that news started to disseminate, just absolutely when bananas, right? Absolutely bananas, which basically tells you, and it kind of confirms over and over and over again is, well, somebody out there always knows something. Obviously those coal buyers, there were four, five, six dollars out of the money for the last two days. They knew something, right? They knew something. And, and again, you don't need insider information. All you got to do is look at the options monitor, right? I don't care what, what, you know, what, what option scanner you use. Like I use flow algo, for example, and there's a million of them. But, you know, you could see this on the tape. They were pounding those calls, $5 out of the money. And if you guys remember on last night's video, I said, I would like to see, you know, before it to get too excited, I would like to see NVIDIA take out at least a one range. What, what are two days range for this thing to ignite? Yeah, it ignited. Uh, it ignited uh, just an, an insane move, an absolutely insane move. Uh, it put up basically a $6 candle uh, virtually in one hour, uh, the first dip was into uh, the rising support roughly at around 345, and they bought that dip very, very quickly. Um, so it really does show you, folks, uh, you got to be prepared. You got to follow the data. The data sometimes correlates uh, with a daily chart, but the most important part is don't anticipate, right? Don't anticipate. Don't guess. Let the market tell you exactly What's happening, the most important part is be prepared technically. And that's exactly what we had. Uh, incredible day today. Really, really incredible day. Uh, first of all, congratulations to everybody who got long. Uh, Tesla yesterday, phenomenal gap up. Absolutely phenomenal gap up. I was up, Jesus, I was up at four o'clock in the morning. Uh, I was up at four o'clock in the morning and I go, I go, I accidentally woke up at four o'clock in the morning. Might as well make some sales. By the time I got into my office, uh, Tesla was up almost to uh, 480, uh, 285. Phenomenal. Just absolutely phenomenal. Um, stock went all the way up to uh, 257, which was uh, the Bollinger Band. So the day started out great. I mean, listen, I, I, again, if you told me this was the end of the day and that this is it, you know, I'd be happy with it. But it kind of started. The day kind of started uh, and it got very, very aggressive. And let's talk about the pivots uh, very, very quickly. So here was the NVIDIA pivot right here. Guys, again, we talked about this. We talked about this. We were ready for it. But more important, once Barron's came out with that, you know, wherever they got that information from, um, it really jolted the spike. So here's the pivot, guys. 117, which was yesterday's top of the channel, and the 118 pre-market highs needs to confirm for a potential move to the previous day's channel of 1861. So guys, remember that number, 1861. That was the big number. This was just kind of to to alleviate the recent selling and kind of break it out of the downtrend. But this was going to be the big number, 1861. And again, they were pounding, folks, over and over and over again. They were pounding the 120, the 121 calls, and NVIDIA went absolutely bananas. It took out every range. It took out literally every single range. Right, so here was Nvidia. Sorry, I put on Tesla by accident. 
It took out the 17 area right here, the 17, which is the previous day's channel. It took out the 1861, and then it proceeded to took, take out the September 12 highs of 120.80, and yada, 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 put in a high of 121.80. Guys, this thing's not done, okay? Let me just say it's not done. They were coming, once the news broke, they started coming for the 123, the 124, the 125, the 126 weeklies, okay? They were also coming for shorter-term expiration for the next two weeks of expiration for the 130s. Folks, this thing is in play. Uh, if there is any weakness in tomorrow, because this is the highest close in this whole formation, uh, use weakness into rising 60-minute support. Again, I, I, it's, it's funny. People continue to ask me, what's, what does that mean, rising 60-minute support? Again, most traders use the one-minute channel, the five-minute channel. I use the 60-minute channel. That's that's all it is. It's the 60-minute view. And here's the 60-minute view, right? Here's this, all these all these lines. People say, hey, David, what do you have all these lines? They're so unnecessary. Yeah, that's those are the areas that are necessary. Um, <clears throat> but again, highest close in this whole formation. If this thing starts uh, confirming today's highs for tomorrow, I mean, look how much room you have. You have room all the way up to this 128. It doesn't have to necessarily get there tomorrow. But yeah, there's a lot of potentials. Congratulations for all you guys uh, who caught uh, NVIDIA. Uh, CMG, uh, Chipotle, I still like the chart. Keep an eye on this thing. Looks great. You guys remember what we're talking about? We talked about uh, Netflix last night, right? Netflix was ready to go. Uh, 1715, 66 needs to build. Again, a buyer came in uh, with the weekly 725 calls and Shazam, right? As Dave Chappelle would say Shazam, right? Traded right to the highs, closed at 122.40s. Uh, uh, watch tomorrow's continuation for a potential uh, you know, multi-day move and, and, and Netflix. Great move. Absolutely great move. Congratulations to all you guys who caught that as well. Uh, Zoom we briefly discussed last night. 69 needs to build. Not a huge move, but uh, nevertheless, in the right direction. Uh, 69 confirmed. Uh, went up to 70 and change. Again, this is the highest close in the whole formation. It's not going to trade smooth, but... Uh, lo and behold, still a nice move up. Uh, AMD is very close, folks. This thing is very, very close to reclaiming the 200-day moving average. Today gave a nice little move, but it's super duper close re of, of reclaiming the 200-day. That's going to be a big one to watch in the next two, three days. But here it is, 157.50 uh, needs to build on AMD, right? So AMD took out the sneaky little two-day channel. Uh, took out 157.50, traded all the way up to 159.60. You see this whole supply zone here, guys? That's the 200-day moving average. Uh, again, I, I don't think it's going to get there tomorrow or the next day, but when the next you know next several days, if the market continues strong, the, it, once AMD gets above supply, folks, there's no there's no resistance all the way up to 175. Again, we're we're not imminent. You don't have to watch it tomorrow intensely, but just be aware in the next couple of days, maybe two three days. Uh, AMD can wake up and start challenging uh, all the supply. What a nice little pop there. Uh, GameStop, keep an eye on this thing for tomorrow. Uh, 2280 needs to confirm the 50-day. Didn't quite get there uh, yet, but you know, definitely, definitely watch this thing for tomorrow. Uh, MSTR closed at the highs of the day. Uh, 151.50 and 152.35 uh, needs to build. Uh, traded all the way up to 154.30s. Uh, Microsoft gave a great trade, not to the upside, but to the downside. So Again, this is what we talk about. Be prepared on both sides. Uh, 430, 30, held twice. If it builds below, can flush. And yeah, it flushed. Gave a $3 move uh, in a matter of five minutes. Here is the, you see these two channels here, right? Look at the low here, 430, 40 and 430, 30. So it held 430, 30 twice. Once it lost that 430, 30, traded all the way down to the next support. Uh, all the way down to uh, 26. Great move. Really, really great move on Microsoft. It was phenomenal. Today was, you guys remember what I was bitching about last week, how the, the, it was just the most awful action I probably saw in the last five, 10 years. You remember that? Yeah, me either. That's how quickly the market changes. And we talked about it last week on the video that, you know, it was an outlier how terrible the action was last week. It's so great that we're, we're back to business. It's so uh, great that the market is just absolutely explosive once again. And uh, LUMN uh, didn't quite confirm. I believe that was it. Uh, I believe what was it? Yeah, so this was the Barron's piece, right? This was the Barron's piece right here. Uh, you know, Barron's online, uh, CEO Jensen sold $713 million worth of stock. And once it got above 17 and 18, they say, hey guys, 1862 is the huge, huge area now. 
uh, yada, 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 stock traded uh, all the way up to uh, 2180s. Just a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal move. So great action, folks. Absolutely great action. Hopefully, let's keep this going, right? Hopefully, let's keep this going. Let me give you guys some uh, ideas for uh, tomorrow. Uh, MSTR has uh, broken out. Watch coin, okay? Uh, I don't know if coin is imminent, but definitely, definitely watch coin. It needs to get above this four-day channel to kind of join in the action. I obviously love uh, NVIDIA as well for a potential uh, second-day play. Uh, look at hymns. Hymns, hers, they, it, right? All pronouns. Apparently, we all have to know what our pronouns are. Anyway, make a long story short. You see how it stopped today at the 50-day moving average, right? Everybody remembers how the significance of the 50-day moving average is. Watch him so tomorrow. If HIMS confirms uh, the 50-day moving average tomorrow, we could see a finally an expansion uh, out of this whole range. So that's it, folks. Have a great night, everybody. Great, great day. Great day today. Hope everybody's doing well. And God's help, I will see you all in the field tomorrow. Take care.